Hello everybody, this is Hollywood Joe from Hollywood's World of Sports again, coming to you with another WWE DVD review, and this time it is the best of WWE in your house, and I gotta show you the front and back, and then the uh, inserts here, you can see those. And uh, I gotta tell you, I love the fact that WWE brought back Todd Pettingill for this project because Todd Pettingill was kind of synonymous with the beginning of In Your House and uh, was a face on WWE television for quite some time. And, uh, you know, I gotta tell you, I also like the... Like the series of matches that are on these three discs uh seven and a half hours worth um a lot of great matches you can't uh, you can't complain about the match selection or quality of the matches on this dvd uh i have a few that stand out for me you know Shawn michaels versus diesel Shawn michaels versus uh mankind also really enjoyed the 10-man tag between the Hart Foundation and the team of Stone Cold, Shamrock, Goldust, and the Legion of Doom. Uh, also enjoyed uh, Bret Hart's match versus the British Bulldog in December of 95, I believe it was, for the WWE title. Um, also, um, another great match. Uh, it was an eight-man tag match of... February of 1998, it was the New Age Outlaws, Savio Vega, and Triple H teaming up against, uh, let me think here, uh, Stone Cold, Owen Hart, Cactus Jack, and uh, Chainsaw Charlie, aka Terry Funk at the time. Uh, really, really good matches. Like I said, uh, you can't, you you can't really complain about the matches. I honestly, though, think, I really, truly think that they're going to have to come out with Volume 2 because there were some matches uh, that weren't on this DVD that I remember from In Your House that were absolutely phenomenal. So I'm hoping um, WWE comes out with Volume 2 and obviously brings Todd Pettingill back. I thought it was really cool to see Todd Pettingill again. Uh, doesn't even look like the same guy. Um, boy, I just, it was really, really fun to hear his perspective on things since he's been away from the business for so long. But this is, uh, this DVD features the best of the best. I mean, Undertaker, Kane, Stone Cold, The Rock, Mankind, Bret Hart, Shawn Michaels, Triple H, uh, Kevin Nash, Diesel, The Undertaker, um, just it just it features pretty much the best of that era from 1995 to 1999. Um, just you know, just wow! I don't even I don't know how to describe it. It's just wow! And like I said, uh, WWE is going to probably have to come out with Volume Two. Like I said, there were some other matches on there. Uh, on those pay-per-views that weren't on the DVD. Um, so we'll, we'll have to see how the uh, turnout for the DVD is. But if you are a fan of WWE back in these years, was it 95 through 99? Good DVD to have. I, I almost consider it like the lost, lost treasure of WWE because a lot of people don't, really look back on the in your house pay-per-views because you know they weren't a royal rumble or wrestlemania or king of the ring SummerSlam, survivor series or you know the big pay-per-views back then uh in your house was kind of like a you know almost like a secondary pay-per-view to build up to the major pay-per-views which was all right because they, they you know wwe was only running 
I think five pay-per-views back then um, before In Your House started. So with that being said, um, I would really, because of the uniqueness of like the setup of In Your House and stuff like that, I would love to see In Your House come back once a year. Um, you know, just as a, you know, nostalgia act. I've always felt that WWE should bring back King of the Ring, another pay-per-view that was, uh, I thought was very, very awesome and successful. And, um, you know, it made, it made an up-and-coming superstar a main eventer. Uh, in your house, though, it was a whole different, uh, different idea behind it, let's just say. And I really think, you know, in your house would fit perfectly, like, you know, in May or September or somewhere in between, like, two big pay-per-views. Uh, it'd be awesome. Like I said, I'm one for nostalgia. I'm one for old school. So it'd be really, uh, really, really cool to see. Uh, like I said, great DVD to have. They couldn't have picked a better guy and Todd Pettingell to host this DVD because, like I said, it's, I mean, he was kind of like the face of it for a long time. So, with that being said, uh, WWE, the best of In Your House, uh, three discs, three disc set. Um, like I said, I'm hoping they'll come out with a volume, um, volume two because this. This had a lot of great matches, but it doesn't have all the great matches from In Your House. And, uh, like I said, a lot of people forget about this pay-per-view because it's no longer a part of WWE. And it really wasn't, I don't want to say it, really wasn't pushed as a major pay-per-view. It really wasn't uh, presented as a big pay-per-view. But, uh, nonetheless, it was a great, great pay-per-view series. A uh, great three D three DVD uh, set to have. Uh, like I said, you can't complain about um, quality of matches. Quality of matches are great. Uh, like I said, it features the best of the best from that era. And um, pick up the DVD and watch in your house. In your house pretty much the whole idea of the pay-per-view to begin with but um like i said great dvd can't complain uh enjoy it uh let me know what you think post your comments questions below and uh again my name is hollywood joe from hollywood's world of sports remembering controversy doesn't come without criticism and hollywood's world of sports is your source for all things sports and obviously WWE and DVDs. So with that being said, uh, have a good day uh, wherever you are. I'm sure you're enjoying the hot spring heat like I am. So uh, kick back, pop a cool one, watch the DVD set, get in the air condition, whatever you got to do. Uh, again, Hollywood Joe. Hollywood's World of Sports signing off for the day and have a great day.